<clears throat> hey, what do you say there, YouTubers? It's dirty like the government here. Sorry, I haven't done a video in, in quite a while. It's been a really rough past couple of months. Um, thankfully, I think we're through it. At least my wife is for the time being. Um, not many of you know it. Some friends know. Uh, my wife had uh, breast cancer in late November. She actually had everything removed um, December, right before Christmas. So um, that was a big one. And now I have uh, two spots on my esophagus, which is why my voice is jacked up. Um, so I, I do apologize if I'm a little hard to hear, but uh, I gotta go back in another month for another scope, see if they've gotten bigger or smaller. But uh, here's the interesting piece. A friend of mine does home inspections for many realtors when people go to buy a home. Um, I had them do a radon test in my basement and I was about 15 times over the threshold for radon poisoning, radon gas. So if you live in North America, you have a basement, even crawl spaces, even on a concrete slab, if you've got a drain drilled for your... Uh, your HVAC or your hot water heater to, to drain off into it. I really recommend you get it, get your place tested. Um, you know, we've lived here for a number of years, never did. I didn't worry about it. It's just one of those, it's a silent killer. But talking with the doctor and a friend of mine, we've got ours remedied, right? But uh, that's not really the reason for my video. I want to apologize for being gone for so long. Usually when things happen to me, I uh, I lock up and I, I tend to store everything inside and bottle it up and bottle it up. And then, you know, some guy at Walmart pushing a shopping cart into my car will usually get blasted on by me. And, and that's not right. I, I, I just feel bad. So I apologize to you guys. Um, the real reason why I decided to do a video tonight was one tigress hot hammock had sent me a stove and a hot hammock to kind of play around with and test and, and give them my honest feedback. I can't turn my phone around since uh, I've already started it, but the stove, it's, uh, I want to say it's a $385 package where you get the hot tent you know, the tent itself, an extra jack hole, and uh, a hot, you know, wood, little wood burning stove with if sufficient amount of pipe. Um, so, what I'm doing right now is I'm burning this one in so I can use it maybe this weekend a little bit further out back in my property. That way, I'm still close to home. And if, you know, if something happens with the wife or she needs a hand or, or whatever, I'm I'm just a phone call away, but uh, no further ado, let me show you this little this little wood stove. Um, I don't have the uh, hammock tent, hot tent set up yet, but uh, I needed to do a two hour burn on this wood burning stove to burn off all the oils and paint fumes. And uh, yeah, it's pretty gross. So here we go. I'll try to get, get this on camera for you. So this is a one tigress wood burning stove um it's not very big they wear a, a size 13 boot my boot is bigger than the uh the stove itself so you're not gonna burn you know random good size wood chunks from the from the forest or even from the gas station uh, let's see Here's the pipe connects to that little wood box that slides in and out. I'm not really a big fan of that. What happens if you're stuck in a windstorm? And this part right here comes loose. And your pipe, uh, you got a little 90 degree deal on it, but uh, 
and it's hot. I can't, uh, I can't, I can't put my hands on it for very long. Um, but this tent, I, or this tent, this stove, I actually have, uh, two little racks that go on the burners. You can cook, uh, I, I don't know. I don't, I honestly don't know. They claim you can cook uh, a pot of beans or macaroni and cheese, you know, while you're cooking your steak on top of the stove. Um, but I just, I, I don't know. I'm not, uh, I'm not out here cooking on it. I just wanted to get the initial burn done since uh, I'm going to go out back. Uh, maybe this Friday when I get wrapped up with a few other projects that I got to do. Um, yeah, folks, I thought 2021 was going to be bad and was bad, but uh, I'll hold honestly, 2022 is not shaping up to be a better year for me or my wife. Um, I'm not looking for any boo-hoos or or sympathy or anything like that. Just uh, a minor apology for my absence over the last couple of months. Um, yeah, that's about what makes me feel the worst. Um, so with that in mind, I'm gonna finish cooking out this wood burning stove. I have a whole nother rig and set up to test tomorrow I don't I don't know if I'm gonna burn that one out or not because excuse me I really want to do I really want to do one at a time um it's gonna get down to 40 I think all weekend or maybe even 35 and, and then rain slash snow um Saturday morning so it's gonna be a good test even though I'll be couple thousand feet from the front door I'm, uh, I'm gonna go Friday once I get done doing some stuff since it's not raining or I hope it's not raining uh, I'm gonna set this up set my Hennessy up inside this one Tigris wood stove and uh, check on the wife periodically and stay outside all weekend So, stay tuned. I apologize, folks, for my absence. Um, but in my book, family comes first. I'm not saying you guys aren't family, but uh, I would, uh, I'd cut my, both my arms off if that meant my wife could live a happy, healthy life for the rest of her life. Even if it was only for five years, but I'd, I'd cut them both off for her. Um, she's my best friend so you guys have a good one stay tuned uh, Friday I'm going to do a little setup video of this one tigress hot hammock tent and then uh, I'll show you how to hang a, a Hennessy hammock the easy way the way that I've found it's been the easiest and it's, it's quick but uh, yeah stay tuned folks again I apologize for my uh, my absence Take care and have a good evening.